you. You might turn that in. Okay, I want to go over a couple of things before we take the test. One of the things has to do with this name for God poster. I did it. Okay. Uh, I want your name in the bottom right corner, which nobody did. Okay. It's Tommy Small. What? So everybody needs to do that. Those that turned it in. Then a lot of you that turned it in need to go back and proofread. That means if you misspell a word on it, it's going to count against you. Okay. The other problem we had is a lot of people didn't put two pictures. And then some people that just two, put two pictures just stuck it on there, wherever. Wherever it happened to pop in. Because I think some of you don't know how to move a picture. It, it like, wasn't working. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't working. It was just, yeah. I would it move, would the, move picture. the picture and see some random box. Text. And it wasn't so. one of the pictures. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't like my aesthetics. Like my aesthetics? Okay. Gabriel. Here's a picture on a Google document. Well, here. Well, yeah, but there was a lot more text. So, so if I want to move this picture, I have to click this button right here. Okay? Click that button, which says wrap text. Text. Once you have that button clicked here, you can move it wherever you want. Okay? So you have to click this button right here. Let me show you a good example of a poster that's nice and balanced and creative. Yeah, whatever I try to do. It's Addy. I love her so much. Oh my gosh. Okay? Cool. Oh, we can move it. I thought oh, the wow. words had to be. So, this is what I'm looking for something. So, several of you have posters that go on to a second page. Lucas is one of them, I believe. Can we be with me? Okay. How I want this all to fit what? Nice one page. On one page, so I can print it out and we can post, put them up. Plus, we want to do our uh, convocation video where you're going to show it and give us a name for God. Okay. So that's the first issue. So a lot of you, whoever turned these in, need to go back and correct them. If you haven't turned them in, come on. Does anybody have questions about that? Means, it's you're related to Pol Pol the Poland cast. Like My 76 grandfather was a King David person. My 76 grandfather was named Adolf. <laughs> My third grandpa was named Bin Laden. Please do it here. <laughs> next item is our next part of the achievement project. I need to catch up on that. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> so it's on the classroom here. This is the individual issue research. So when I click on this. Now, some of you, when you did your surveys, you had very broad issues, which is fine. But f so, like, if you said health and safety, that's too big of an issue for this part. You got to narrow it down. What specifically in health and safety do you want to research? And the way it works is, okay. The way it works is this. So this is the easy part. Number one, that's an easy question. You're saying the issue I'm going to research is. Uh, the International Space Station, which I won't be doing because that's a what? 
Uh, this is the uh, yeah, it's an international or world issue. It has to be something Minnesota, the Minnesota legislature can deal with. So some of you, uh, your people wrote about issues that really the national government would have to deal with. You have to you have to decide what is an issue that Minnesota has the power to deal with. Who determines that? Our U.S. Constitution determines that. The states have certain powers. The federal government has certain powers. So Minnesota only has power over the state and it's only the powers that it get, the Constitution gives Minnesota. So that's one thing you, you have to think of. Okay? So you're going to describe the issue. This one, this one, describe how the issue affects Minnesota. This means I want statistics. So let's say I want to, uh, public safety, I'm doing something on car crashes. So then I want, I want to sp specific statistics about car crashes in terms of loss of life, in terms of injuries, in terms of cost and money, and what, all that you're going to put in how that affects Minnesota. This, this second question is probably going to be take the most research. If you, if you just answer this off the top of your head, you're going to lose major points for this and for the final thing. I've been writing corrections on each of your uh, papers that you're turning in each time. You need to be saving these papers because when I collect the final, then you need to make corrections so then that you can get the best grade possible on the final project, which is counting two project grades, remember? So each part is only worth a certain amount of points right now, but you need to make those corrections when you get them back. And everything needs to be typed. So those that are turning in your surveys that are written, they're handwritten, that's fine. You're not losing points for that now. But for the project, the final project, they all have to be typed. And whenever you answer something or give an answer to it, use a different font or bold or italics. So your question and your answer is different. Same way with your issue thing. So if you've already typed it and you didn't do that, then go back and do that. Does that make sense? Everybody understand that? Yep. So this one, for sure you need statistics. Okay. Then you're going to evaluate the issue on the basis of the social justice teaching. So in other words, car safety, which, what social justice teaching would that apply to? They're up here. What are they? Community. Could be family and community. Probably more so rights and responsibilities. Dignity uh, of, the, of human life. Okay. So for sure that. Or, so then I would talk about how those issues apply to that issue. Okay. How, how that teaching applies to that issue. So whatever thing applies to it, you need to talk about it in this one. Okay? This one, how do you think the issue affects the community level? Again, this is you have to get statistics. So if I lived in Rosemount, I would want to find out how many car crashes and things have happened in Rosemount. What has been the cost? Where can you find that information? Wikipedia. Not Wikipedia. Okay. You have to go to government websites, maybe the city website, or you can call the city. Say, I'm looking for this kind of information. Can you help me? Give me all the information. Okay. <laughs> this one, again, how does it affect you as an individual? If, if I've been involved in car crashes and whatever, you can include all that. This one is more just your answer, so it doesn't take statistics for this one. Okay. Every issue, there are organizations that support the issue and organizations that are against the issue. For car safety, there's hundreds of organizations that are geared for car safety. Who might be against? They wouldn't necessarily be against car safety, but they'd be against if the more uh, you put into cars, the more what? It could affect pollution. It could affect the cost of the car. Okay? So those are the, <coughs> the things that oppose it. 
And then after that, then I'm going to come up with. Okay. It says, what do you think is a possible solution to this? So if I find that lots of Minnesota, Minnesota is one of the highest states in, in uh, car fatalities or something. Okay. So maybe I'm going to change the speed limit in Minnesota. Okay. I would like the speed limit to be changed because I think if it's a slower speed limit, it would it cause fewer car fatalities. So then that's that's my possible solution to reduce the speed limit to whatever. And then what what arguments would I use? Again, I would go back to my statistics. This many people die, and usually they also show you what kind of roads they're dying on, or what they were traveling at, what speed, and things like that. And then you'd use that as arguments to get your bill passed. Arguments that would be against it is that people are going to say, the government shouldn't be telling me what to do. I should be able to be responsible for my own life, life and safety. It's going to take me a lot longer to get places if we reduce speed limits. Those would be arguments against. And again, every time you find a website or got statistics, that's where you need to include that website. Google is not a website, okay? Google is a what? Actually, it's a search engine, okay? The other rule here now is first come, first serve. So you have to tell me this before you start. Whoever tells me first what issue they're going to research, they have first dibs on it. So somebody else could have a, a similar thing, but they're going to have to come up with a different idea about it. If So whoever chooses first and has their idea, they get first dibs. So before you start any researching and doing this, you have to what? You have to tell me. And I will tell you who has first dibs. Well, nobody has that. Yeah, you can do that. It also will help you say, well, that's really not a Minnesota issue, or that issue is too broad. You need to narrow it down. So right now, this is due the Monday after Thanksgiving. Quit the Tuesday after Thanksgiving. I said right now. So a lot of that depends on when you have free time. What? Whether you're using your free time. Isn't that one the second trimester starts? Is that the last week? You know, this it's the last week. No, the week after Thanksgiving is your last week. So we just write on there, we don't have to do anything else? You have to research the issues and yeah. put your bibliography. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. all. Okay. Isn't the bibliography? And then from this, then, from this, you're going to create an actual bill, and that, that's the next part. There's a specific way to write bills. And those bills then are the ones that we're going to take and debate when we have our field trip. Are we going to have it? When okay. we have our field trip. When. Any other questions people have? Before we start the test? Everybody understands this? Yes, sir. Again, so if you have an idea right now before you leave today, you can tell me. And then uh, I'm not going to accept any ideas till after the test. So if you, you finish your test and you have your idea already and you want to be first on the list, you can tell me. Okay, any questions?